Uh, hello, so I'm Ivan from Samsung. So I'm here to present to you the new Note 10.1 2014 edition. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, it's really sharp, the screen. Right. So, uh, it's, really, it's a 1.9 quad core plus a 1.3 quad core. So it's, really a, it's an octa core device already. So it's using the new Exynos processor, the octa core processor, right? Yes. Um, and in terms of the the, the size of the, the device, it's if you compare it to the old Note 10. Well, of course, it's uh, it's called the 10.1, so it has to have a 10.1 inch screen, right? Yes, it it still keeps the same 10.1 inch screen, mm -hmm. but if you look at the size, it's way sleeker and thinner. Right, right. Um, it really maximizes the the 10.1 inch screen. So it's about a centimeter. Um, uh, I don't know, less wider, or I don't know what you call it, narrower, I think, and then yes. about half a centimeter. Um, shorter is that what you call it? Uh, but it is much sleeker than the older uh, than the uh, the previous version. And if you compare it also to the to the design, it also it already has the leather like back of the Note Three. Right, right. So, so it this, gives you the premium feel when you right, hold it. Right, right. It's much softer, much more uh, warmer to the hand to the feel than the then glossy plastic of the uh, previous the previous version. one. Right. Of course, in of course, when it comes to upgrades, it's upgraded in all aspects, mm -hmm. not just the look, not just the processor. Mm -hmm. If you look at the camera, it's already at 8 megapixel camera at the back, mm -hmm. 2 megapixel in front. Mm -hmm. In terms of display, it's way sharper than the Note 10.1, the old edition. Right, this is uh, twice the resolution, right? It's yes. like 2560 by, yes. eight, by 1600. By 1600, right? yes. Yeah. It's, if you look at the PPI, it's 299 PPI. That's pretty so high, it's, yeah. It's very sharp, mm -hmm. very high great for videos if you if you play a video because for some for some tablets it doesn't really capture the entire screen but mm -hmm. for this specific tablet you can see it really takes over the entire screen okay. it maximizes the video mm -hmm. in terms of sound quality it's there you can really this has the stereo speakers right yes so it's very sharp very clear you can mm -hmm. hear it very well um, <clears throat> Aside from that, it, of course, if you want to do a lot of different things with a powerful processor, mm -hmm. you can also, um, for example, you want to check out your contacts while right. watching videos. Right. So the multi-window is available. The multi-window is available mm -hmm. for this function. Uh, it, it's great with a lot of different things. For example, there's also the new feature, which is the drag and drop. Mm -hmm. For example, you want to, um, for example, you're working. Right. And you want to put a PowerPoint, you want to put a photo in your PowerPoint. Let's take this out first. So if you want to add another, if you want to put a photo, you can just put, um, use open a gallery. For example, you want to add another photo. So this works off the gallery app, like you can drag, drag um, pictures from your gallery? Yes, it's that easy. Onto application. So it's easy for you to work, you have to put different things, and you don't have to move to different applications. Right, you right. don't have to do copy paste. You just hit drag and drop. Carry that and just put it here. So you'll see, you'll see that the photo is there. So it's almost like a PC where you can exactly. just drag uh, stuff into so your. So it's like an on-the-go um, device where you can do Word documents, do PowerPoint mm -hmm. presentations, do Excel files. Mm -hmm. So it's really a great device for you to work. And aside from from these, from that specific feature, mm -hmm. we also have the new and improved S Note. Right. So um, before, when you're familiar with the old S Note. You um, you have multiple notebooks right. where you could just uh, you click and you add and add. But now it's it's sorted properly. For example, you want to put a lock on the notebook. You can put a password. Mm, nice. Then if you wanna, because before you don't have a preview page. Right. Now you can just drag it, drag it, and you'll see what are what's inside mm, the notes. Right, right, right. So it's easy for you to. It's already customized for you, and you can mm. easily. Uh, sort it out. So an improved S note with um, with password protection, password protection, uh, preview file sorting. Mm -hmm. and it's not just that, of course. Uh, if you look at it, and if, uh, of course you get it's the, a cleaner uh, interface. The, right. <clears throat> you get to um, you get to edit. You get to draw. Wait, sorry. So you want to add the, if you want to add an S note. Mm -hmm. It's a tip, it's an S note. So here you can really take down notes. You can take down a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. but, it also it, you can also read it. You want to turn it into the text, so it's it's a sim, it's similar to the old S Note, but of course it's cleaner. Uh, you can it's well sorted out right now. But if you're if you're more onto the drawing, you want to really create image. You really want to create art. Mm -hmm. We also have what you call the sketchbook. Okay. So it's a bit, of course, uh, upgrade from from your S Note. Where S Note you can just create PowerPoints, you can create files. Mm -hmm. Here in sketchbook. It's really where you you want to draw, 
you want to create artwork, you want to create art, you want to, mm -hmm. yeah, if you're an engineer, you want to do different uh, layouts, right. you can do it here. So normally, uh, engineers and architects, they would bring a uh, pa pen and paper, a pencil pen and paper. Pen and paper, yeah, or do it in their laptop, yes. laptops or PCs. Yeah. But here with the Note 10 point, the new Note 10.1 2014 edition, you can easily do it in your tab. Mm -hmm. Like even for, for the, if you if you put some pressure on it, you'll see how dark it is. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you want light. So that's very important because sometimes you just want to... A light, uh, yeah, light. light shade, mm -hmm. especially for artists when they want right. to create artworks, they do have different shades, different textures. Right. This is the best device that can, can bring that out. Right. And, and if you're familiar with the Adobe where you can put in different um, filters, mm -hmm. you can also do it here. Oh, nice. For example, you want to, you want to, you want to work on that, on you want to take out that filter, it will just go out. It's right. similar to the Photoshop where you can put a lot additional layers, additional filters. So it's really the perfect gadget where you can create drawings, artworks, and a lot of different things. Right, right. This also, the, the new S Pen also has the new uh, fan menu, right? Yes. You actually have your air command. Mm -hmm. similar, to the, similar to the Note 3. So it has the scrapbooker. Yeah, and, it has the action and, uh, memo, scrapbooker, right. screen write, S, find, S mm -hmm. uh, Finder, and your, and your uh, pen window. So right, right. Of course you can have your uh, small window floating floating app thing. Just right? a quick run through. Of course, your action memo would mm -hmm. be your mini mini post it where mm -hmm. you can uh, jot down notes or right. you want to put in a number. Right. And you can just uh, that's the one save with um, with uh, handwriting recognition. Yes, right. handwriting recognition. Mm -hmm. Of course, your um, when you want to check out your uh, your scrapbooker, just encircle something right, and you'll, right. you'll put in your scrapbook. Like it, it saves whatever you circle into. Yes, like into if, you, uh, if you circle a picture or a video, it will save that onto your scrapbook. And you can just easily access it. Right, yes. Right, right. If you have your um, screen right, you want to take down the, you want to mm -hmm. grab the screen, print screen the entire thing and write something on it. It's easy for you to do. Right, right, right. The great thing here is the US Finder as well. For example, you want to search different uh, documents in your S Note. Mm. You just type it there, and it can even search your S Note, even mm. search your handwriting. Right, right. So it even rec it recognizes that that those details. And so yeah, that is uh, that is very similar to the uh, recently released Note Three. Yes. But now the uh, the, the Note the Note Ten Point One has those features as well, uh, with the uh, S Note functionality as well, and, yes. and uh, uh, with a larger screen, obviously. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, Galaxy Note 10.1 2014. Uh, when is it going to be available and uh, for how much? November week one is it's going to be out November week one, so mm -hmm. it's going to be out for twenty five nine ninety. Uh huh. Twenty five nine ninety. Twenty five nine ninety. So very very. very what version good. are they getting? Is this uh, how many? It's coming out in uh, sixteen gig Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. So it's very very uh, priced at a good price. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is the Note 10.1 2014 edition. You can get it. First week of November. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you like the video, please press the like button below. Add it to your favorites and or share it to your friends. If you got something to say, drop a comment in the comment box as well. Of course, more importantly, you should hit the subscribe button on top. This will keep you up to date with our new uploads and helps us out tremendously too. That's it, guys. See you next video.